Yo, what's up, everybody? How have you all been doing? I hope you all been doing fine. And you keep on playing games. You keep on playing Warcraft together. Please not macro maps. And uh, I miss you all quite a lot. I think that's needless to say. And I think I also owe you an explanation on what has happened and where have I been. And then I would like to tell you about my future plans. Disclaimer, this is not your ordinary worker free video or any sort of entertaining thing. This is a message to our community. I will start from very far. 11 years ago, I entered Moscow State University. I was very full of myself, since it was, in my opinion, the best university in my country. And at the same time, I was very arrogant, which made me look down on people, even from the same class. People who studied with me uh, felt that, and I was left alone. I soon found myself not keeping up with the studies and living in a nightmare. I tried to make friends in my class but failed since I lacked the social skills needed, so everyone avoided me. And so over the two years I became a scared and antisocial guy, was very tired and depressed. I had only friends outside of university, studying was very hard. I remembered constant fear of what my parents think of me what my classmates think of me, teachers, and on top of that I hate myself for being so lazy, stupid, and weak. By the end of the second year I didn't attend any classes, even exams. I basically played video games and slept trying to get rid of my feelings. The constant fear and anger towards people and pity for myself. And then a friend of mine suggested that I try recording gameplay or streaming. I rejected his idea at first. But later, I tried it. And basically since then, I have developed a serious addiction for streaming, making videos and playing games for others to see. I quit university and began full-time streaming. I was obsessed with Twitch and also being a better streamer than myself yesterday. So much that I sacrificed almost my whole social life and existed purely streaming every day, no weekends. That lasted seven years. There have been several breaks for a few weeks or months when I felt anxiety again or other reasons. But I loved streaming. Those who know me well understand it. It gave me acceptance, attention, confidence, community and most importantly, a purpose in life. A big dream. But as a result of such obsession, I've lost control entirely. Especially during marathons, when I streamed for over a month non-stop. I ignored my family, my friends, my duties, my mental and physical health. Streaming and Twitch community was my god. And the only purpose in life was to become a better streamer and make people more entertained and enjoy what I do. In June 2023, I have discovered that I got spasmodic dysphonia. Something that was told to be a lifelong condition of having speech problems which cannot be cured. Basically out of nowhere, whenever I talk I feel like I suffocate and there is not enough air. It's comparable to stuttering but it was much worse. It's almost as I'm mute and I can hardly say words through the lack of air. I had a mental breakdown due to the verdict from my doctor. It meant I've lost the purpose of life. I dedicated seven years of my life to. Like I said, my voice and streaming were everything to me, and in one go I felt like I've lost both. I feel like I'm a disabled person now for my entire life, so after a week I've tried to commit a suicide. I took 40 antidepressant pills at once and got ready to jump from my 10th floor. I've been saved by an ambulance and my mom who saw my death message. Then I was placed in an emergency clinic and after a week I was in a rehabilitation center where I've spent nine and a half months with no phone or access to the internet. At first I was very depressed and didn't understand what people wanted from me. I could barely talk and I saw no purpose in living anymore. Then there was a fear and anger since instead of ending with misery I had to keep on living and suffering so I broke some things and punched people in rehab. What can I say? A new person. After two months I finally stopped thinking only about myself and looked at my mom. 
she was in much deeper pain and cried. Basically, she worried about me so much, then, then I realized that in the end I'm still surrounded by the people who deeply care, and my life does not belong solely to me. So I decided to do everything to get back strong on my feet. Therefore, I agreed to go through entire course of rehabilitation and not take any shortcuts. Surprisingly to all doctors, my voice started to recover over that period. They said it, it's a very rare case. After the full course, I've changed a lot. It's really the same old me, but it's like I know so much about psychology now and also started to enjoy things I've always avoided. I've become way more social, I spend way more time with my family and I decided to finish my degree. There is no more tunnel vision, but only something like streaming will make me happy and my life fulfilled. I still have strong feelings and desire to stream, but like I said, it's an addiction to me. So I will continue with my pause until I feel even stronger. And it won't be a full-time thing since it, in my case, it's very not safe. My plan is to try making games while getting an education and working in IT somewhere. Coding on its own always seemed boring to me, but making games makes it spicy. I like to make content, so perhaps this will be a safer way of doing so. And overall, it feels like my life as of right now is better than it has ever been. Needless to say, I love you all guys, and I sp I've been thinking about you all endlessly. I have not forgotten. With the oldest boomers, we have spent seven years playing games and talking, laughing together. But I remember those who came much later too. Listen, I will come back. Not as a worker-free full-time streamer, but as someone else. Yet to discover who. When I get stronger, I would like to share with you and hear from you on. How has it been? So right now, I want to focus on my life till the time comes. I don't know how long it will take. It might be a year or longer. I looked into our disco server for several minutes and also saw some comments on YouTube. I already cried even from the few messages I saw. It means a lot to me that all of you been worried. I want to say that I'm fine and well doing. It might overwhelm me if I respond to all the messages since there are a lot. Some of you seem to message even daily, weekly or monthly. I really love you all guys. I want to talk with you all sometime later. I'm very proud to have spent so much time with you and I wish you all to keep supporting each other. Love you all, your ZoomSF.